What's up, guys? You're welcome to Emacom TV, where we publish news on politics and entertainment. We have another trending news for you today, and the headline here reads, Oshomole panics as UK and Europe joins the US to place visa ban and seize asset of election riggers in Edo and Ondo. Alright, before I proceed with today's news, please, if this is the first time you are watching any of our videos on our channel, there is a red subscribe button uh, below this video. Just go ahead, hit on that red subscribe button, click the bell icon to stay updated with all our latest news and updates. Here are the news in details. The United Kingdom has threatened to place a visa ban on politicians who mastermind violence and election rigging during the forthcoming governorship election in Edo and Ondo states. In a statement released on Tuesday, the British High Commissioner to Nigeria, Katrina Lying, said that assets of such electoral offenders in the UK will be seized and will be prosecuted under international law just as it did after the 2019 elections. The statement reads, The UK takes a strong stand against election-related violence and just as we did in the general election in 2019, we will continue to take action against individuals we identify as being responsible for the violence during the election. This could include restriction on their eligibility to travel to the UK, restriction on access to the UK-based assets, or prosecution under international law. She noted that the Commission has held meetings with leaders of the All Progressive Congress and the People's Democratic Party on the Saturday governorship election in a dose state to prevail on their supporters to avoid violence before, during, and after the election. It further said the UK welcomed the signing of the peace accord by the governorship candidate in the state. The Commission disclosed that it will be deploying observation mission to both Edo and Ondo's, Ondo polls while sup supporting civil society-led observation. Wow, all right, guys. Um, uh, Big Brother is beaming its searchlight on Nigeria, especially the upcoming, um, the upcoming governorship election in both Edo State and Ondo State. Just yesterday, the U.S. placed a visa ban on certain individuals that rigged the um, Bayelsa and Kogi State election. And those include Adam Zoshomole, Yahaya Bello, the current governor of, of Kogi State. He, he also, they also extended indefinitely the ban on El Fry over the statement he made about the money bags during the 2019 election and also to according to some sources they said that they also extend the ban because L. Rufry you understand was involved in a graft case that dates back to 2010. So as of today as we speak to you L. Rufry can no longer enter the US and this individual Adam Shomole who is the APC national chairman last year will not be able to enter the US and guess what their asset is going to be frozen. The UK have just released a more stiffer, you know, um, uh, uh, penalties on this guy that some of them may even be referred to the International you know, World Court for prosecution in trying to truncate democracy in a country like Nigeria. Several organizations, NGOs, have held the um the U united the uk us and the european union move to actually uh get rid of this election regards they say that if the us uk and europe could do this then what about nigeria what is the nigerian government doing about this a do election is just stone throw from now and it's just less than four days today is wednesday a do election is going to be saturday and already the whole place, there is tension everywhere. 
we saw the deployment of military forces to a do state in the show of force. The police were involved in the show of force to tell the Edo resident that they are ready. And but this another thing again, this is sending a lot of panic throughout the people of Edo, throughout the whole of Edo land, because people are looking at it that could it be that there's going to be a repetition of what happened in Kogi states, Bayelsa states, sporadic gunshot everywhere. I mean, we don't know what is going on in this country any longer. Must election be a do or die affair? Now, this is going to serve as a deterrent to some of these guys because already, even if this guy rig or not, I bet you, the UK, the US, and the European Union are going to freeze their assets because, one, these guys have all of their savings outside of the country. And it's the best way for these Oibo people who a lot of people accuse to also be involved in corruption because they, too, they are involved in corruption. Imagine somebody having up to like $10 million in his overseas account. And just because you are involved in rigging, they seize your account. I mean, who is losing at the end of the day? So, guys, this is a deterrent to other, but they told the matter, are they going to hit this deterrent? Adam Oshomole is bent on removing Obaseki by all means. Adam Oshomole have been accused of hiring thugs, and these thugs are in his house. Also, to Obaseki, the current governor of Edo State, have been accused of harboring thugs in the government office. So you see here, guys, there's a height of desperation. Everybody, they do people now. The truth of the matter is that with what is happening now, that will actually discourage to a larger extent the people of Edo State. It's going to discourage them from going out to go and vote. So, guys, this is a very big move that will actually cause, and especially the people that we suspect more, that is being suspected more, are even the people, the ruling party. I'm not saying the ruling party in Edo State. I'm saying the ruling party in Nigeria, which is APC. I feel they are going to be more uh, affected more because the people were affected last year in last year's burning. Ganduje of Kanu State was involved. You get Erufry, um, Adams of Shomole. You get me? And some other, you know, other politicians. These people have had the account frozen in the U.S. They have visa restriction and ban placed on them. So, guys, what do you actually think about uh, this? This is a Macom TV. Uh, please, you can drop your comment below. Let me know what you think about this. Before you leave, share this video to your friends on Facebook, Twitter, WhatsApp, and other social media. God bless you. This is a Macom TV. Peace out to all of you.